doggy said the blog said I'm just the blog Yeah, man. Oh yeah, you should look yeah, menacing. Look menacing. Why does Joe this couple boys. get more good looking <laughs> every year? Hi, hey, guys. you're on our vlog channel. Hey, look at look at my beard though. Seriously. I like it. I like your silverness. Leave it in there. You leave I'm it in staying there. old. I'm staying old. Stay I'm, old. Like, it's the new. It's the new thing. Much. I'm gonna <laughs> post it. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post this. Couple get more good looking <laughs> every year, <laughs> and then he's fifty. Oh my God! <laughs> he's fifty. No, it's just like good. That was perfect. Joe Coy Is in the studio. We go back many a shows with Joe Coy. I know. Still, you see me go through like how many pilots? A, a, and a lot of women, <laughs> a lot of women, and a lot of pilots, and I still don't have a job from you. You've never given me a job. Yeah, but that, the pilots don't go through. The last one was like. A, a cartoon. cartoon. I know. I, I had another one too. I got one this year. I need a cartoon yeah. voice role. Yeah. Uh, I'd he, be he just, great. He just hired me. Do you, do you act? Yeah. All Honestly. Time. Every day. <laughs> Honestly, I'm acting right now. You can read lines right, right. I'm acting right now that I'm having a great time in here with you guys. Look Seriously, you, would you come in and oh, audition? Oh, I wouldn't even kidding? audition. Just send in tape. All right. Would you really? Yeah. All right. You know how good this voice is? <laughs> <laughs> what would you play? I would play any character I could get a voice for. I know it. I'm confident. Do you okay. have a Chinese hey, character? Oh, no. Okay. I don't do that. <laughs> That's terrible, so I won't Look, do that one. Dave loves that one. No, Dave, Dave's Dave, loves anything, Dave loves anything racist. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm laughing right now. <laughs> but then again, so do I. Yeah. Hey guys, Loper's leaving to go to Cleveland today. He's actually at a business meeting right now for work. I'm gonna go eat with Andy, one of my best friends from Columbus. She used to work at the Blitz actually doing radio and now she has like a normal job. Um, I'll find out today, okay? I'll, we'll ask her, we'll ask her. Like, what do you really do, Andy? I want Mexican and I told her, and she's like, dude, I want Mexican too. I can't wait. Love it, love it. I always leave my car on. Okay, turn it off. I'm starving. How hungry are you? Starving. I am so hungry. You're do on it. the you're on the vlog. I I already told them. They were like, "What do you do?" I'm marketing. Marketing. I knew I was around there, guys. I can't wait to eat like a taco or twelve. Dang. We're done eating, and I didn't. This is terrible. All we have is our remnants. We might have cleaned house. A little. We both had fajitas. We ordered the same thing. Because I'm psycho like that. Annie has to go back to work, and I don't. Yay, me. Yeah, you, you have a one o'clock meeting. I do. So I'm stalling you right now. All right, I have to go home and watch like a thousand kids and Lover's going to Cleveland. He's gonna see Joe Rogan tonight and he's going to UFC again tomorrow. Oh yes, I am. Oh no, you're fine. That'll be fun. That'll be fun for you. It's gonna be great. <laughs> it's gonna be great for me. I have a thousand children to take places. I have four soccer, no, three soccer games tomorrow. And uh... What in gymnastics? Say bye to Andy, guys. Bye, Andy. Bye, bye. Bye, Andy. Hey, what's up, guys? So we made it here to Cleveland. I'm here with my buddy John. Woo! He's already. We got to go to CBS already. Come on, man. I'm, I'm in Cleveland. It's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame city. You know, I want to see something besides. I need my medicine. He needs an inhaler. <laughs> so we're going to the UFC tomorrow. Tonight we're going to go see Joe Rogan. So definitely going to bring you guys along. Right now we're going to get this, whatever it is that he needs here at CBS. And then we're going to head over to Matt Brown's hotel room and see what Matt's up to. Cool art. Nice art, Cleveland. Cleveland. I'm looking to see a little bit of the city. I gotta go see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but I don't think I'm gonna make it on this trip because Randy's not here. I think she would freak if I went without her, but that's definitely, I gotta make it there soon. Have you been? Never been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but guests can't go because Randy's not here. <laughs> There's rules, man. Wonderful run in CM Punk, you think? CM Punk. Are you filming me? Filming, filming you, you filming me.
at that cool chandelier, guys. How badass is that? The Buckhead's the area of season, then, right? He lives in Buckhead. He lives like right across from the governor's that's mansion. That's, that's for that nice, that one hotel you like staying at, is, isn't it? The Mandarin Oriental. Best hotel on the planet, man. I'm telling you. It just place? sounds like a spa, like an Asian spa. Oh, so uh, Matt was MIA, so we decided to come back to our hotel and go here to the restaurant, which is called Urban Farmer, guys. An urban farmer is an amazing farm to plate restaurant, meaning all of this amazing food comes from farms here in Ohio. Look at that. Cheddar cheese, apricots, goat cheese, salami. Saying goat cheese sounds awful, but it's not. So me and Hassie are on a date. This is woo, really romantic. Main course time. Twice baked potatoes, you got some mushrooms. All right, man, it's gonna be awesome. Awesome meal, which was just absolutely incredible, man. It, they call it farm to plate. I had a steak that would blow your mind. Urban farmers, what the restaurant's called. All of the meal uh, consisted of stuff from farms right here in the state of Ohio, which is absolutely cool if you ask me. So we're off to go see Joe Rogan. We're gonna hop in the Uber. Oh, uh, Rogan. So we're, we're actually gonna go get Matt this time. I don't know where the hell he was last time we went to the hotel, but we're gonna go pick him up and a couple other guys, and then we're gonna head over to go see Joe. So here we go, man, come on. Hey, so this is pretty cool. So Matt, we finally okay, found Matt. We're down here in the heart of downtown Cleveland, and we ran into this dude, and uh, what's your name, man? Jamie. Jamie, and uh, you're from Pittsburgh? Yes, sir. And you saw Matt Brown, because you're a fan, and you were yeah, like, dude, what's fan. up, what's up? And we said, hey, we're going to Joe Rogan, yeah. and Matt Brown being the charitable mf -er he is. Yeah. I do what I can. Yeah, they said, you. come thank with you. us. So now you're gonna have to go, you're gonna bite it by one of your UFC that's, heroes. That's fucking unreal. Yeah, this is amazing. Right now. We're gonna go over here to the Masonic Theater, I believe is what it's called. So, Joe Rogan show tonight. Should be awesome. Wanna get this over hit the lottery, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, you did hit the lottery, yeah. man. Hit you hit the lottery. lottery. Wait, so where are the seats, Matt? Uh, box seats all the way down. Yeah. Put on the camera, on there. Okay, all right. Well, it's like box seats. Yeah. Oh my God, wow, yeah. That's awesome. Yes. Awesome news. Awesome news. So we just got to the box, and uh, who do we run into? Junior Dos Santos. Right here, man. Dude. Stop. The one and only, man, bro. It's gonna be funny, right? Yeah, it is. For sure. It's gonna be nice. This is Dos Santos. He's very beautiful. No? No, this is my that's a lawyer, okay, all right. It's just a lawyer, all right. All right, listen, I mean, we may have to edit that part out, who knows, but anyway, looks like it's gonna be a fun time tonight, man, and you just kind of stumbled upon this. You gotta be yeah. freaking out. I'm the freeloader right here, yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. Into Mark Coleman. Don't He's in the middle hit. of a story. Uh, well, we got, I'm not going to get hit. One of the things uh, I love about Coleman you is the story. You get He's a better you storyteller than anyone I've ever met. I've never evolved. Sure. You should tell Junior to something. I haven't been hit yet, I'm, I'm, I'm all beat up, but it's not my head. Coleman, you look great, man. Say hi to everybody on the vlog, man, please. Hello to everybody out there. <laughs> Joe Rogan. That guy's good, right? Joe Rogan's good. You're, yeah. you're so you stay, just a, he's catching. You're, he's almost catching. Uh, you almost say Loper number one, though. That's Loper number me. one, Rogan yeah. number two, but he's catching you. That's what I saw tonight, man. You got to pick it up. Come on. You and Randy got to pick it up. I know, I know. Or else he's going to catch you. He's good, right? Yeah, see him. That's where we're at. He's good. He must catch you right again. Over here. Coleman West Sims. Coleman. Oh, hey, 
hell's going on with this, Cleveland? So the night ended kind of crazy with a with a party at a club, man. I haven't been to a club in so freaking long. It was nuts, you know. It's always uh, it's always weird being out without Randy. Kind of miss her, you know. But it was fun to hang out with the boys. I, I left them to be lame. I'm actually gonna go back to the hotel and crash out. God, you gotta end on a high, right? Mark Coleman versus Joe Rogan. What else do you want, man? Tomorrow we go to UFC 203. It's gonna be huge here in Cleveland. Thanks for watching, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, listen, Cleveland. Thanks for all the hospitality. We'll see you tomorrow on the vlog. You guys rule, man.